a protest against Texas total a ban on abortions was gathered here at the Texas Capitol, but protesters began marching down Congress a few minutes ago. Right now, businesses are finding themselves in the middle of this debate with their insurance policies helping employees pay for abortion services being targeted by Republican state lawmakers. Things like this are making benefits more political. After the U.S. Supreme Court ruled to overturn Roe v. Wade, stripping federal protections for women seeking abortions and allowing states to pass total bans on the procedure, companies are now having to take an unprecedented political stand over health benefits. States like Texas have so-called trigger laws in place, which ban all abortions except if the woman's life is in danger. Since then, companies like Google have already offered to pay for moving expenses for employees to relocate to a state without these restrictions. Now, Companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and Dick's Sporting Goods are announcing they will reimburse travel costs for employees who get abortions in states where the procedure is still legal. However, not all companies can provide this health benefit. It represents a pretty small percentage of employers, and it tends to be employers that have uh, higher income employees. Benefits consultant Paul Siegert says smaller businesses may not be able to provide these kinds of benefits because their plans are regulated by the state, not the federal government. If you're a mid-size and down employer, a smaller employer, likely your health plan is governed by that state. You're probably purchasing a health plan from an insurer that's admitted in your state, and so it is subject to those state rules. Siegert says this handcuffs smaller businesses who may not be able to afford lengthy court battles. State Representative Briscoe Kane and other of Texas's most conservative lawmakers have already expressed a desire to punish businesses who help pay for abortions. These companies could switch to a federally regulated insurance plan, but that would hurt the insurance companies admitted by Texas. Additionally, Siegert says this legal push and pull could make it harder for small businesses to compete with larger companies in the hiring market. We're still in a very tough hiring environment for employers and a very good job uh, search environment for employees. And now you have this added element. Uh, and employees have already considered benefits to be very important in a, a decision as to where they go to work. And I believe we're going to see some employees that may choose to work for a larger employer over a smaller employer uh, who already had an advantage. The Rise Up for Abortion Rights rally just started here earlier this morning behind me at the federal courthouse with protesters now walking across the streets of downtown. It was just a little over a week ago on June 24th when the first organized protests were happening down here after the Supreme Court announced it was overturning the landmark decision on abortion rights after nearly 50 years. It's not a coincidence that this event was scheduled for the 4th of July. The protesters' explosive rhetoric is timed to coincide with the fireworks more typically associated with this holiday. Today's rally is one of several planned across the nation. Most people in this country definitely ab oppose taking away like one's bodily and autonomy, which is basically what they're doing because it's not just about abortion, it's not just about specific abortions. There's so many different cases and that should be left to medical professionals and patients. It shouldn't be left to the government to decide what is safe for a woman. More than 150 people are taking part in today's rally, most of them women, but a few men and children scattered throughout. Texas State Board of Education has now voted to send back a draft proposal they say misrepresents slavery in the United States. The initial draft brought up concerns among board members after slavery was described as involuntary relocation to second graders. The State Board of Education has released a statement saying they will, quote, not downplay the role of American slavery in American history. The draft has sparked major debate online. Board members also addressed this concern in their June 15th meeting. The phrase involuntary relocation is used when we're talking about the slave trade. And involuntary relocation, like when my seat moves, I don't volunteer for that. It's just kind of the same. So I don't know if that's a fair representation of what we should be saying about that journey.